college football week zero recap god damn it <laughs> recap god damn it hammer game oh we always hit the nail on the head so check this out my miami hurricane fans my college football fans in general week zero 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 is a wrap week zero is a wrap couple good games couple um eh, whatever kind of games but nonetheless we're here to talk about it let's do a quick recap of some of the most watchable memorable games from week zero let's go what am i doing i'm hitting the like button i'm hitting the like button that's what you should be doing hit hit the, hit the like hit the like button okay let's get into it all right so i know most of you guys want to talk about the florida state duke Quick game but we'll get there. We'll get there. Be patient, my guy. Be patient. So let's just start off with the most obvious. Nebraska, Northwestern. I think they was in, um, was it Ireland? Was it, was it Ireland? Was it Finland? It, they was in some, some land, some land, some, um, European, I think, um, stadium or whatever. Maybe it was a soccer stadium or whatever. Nonetheless, they went over to play. Now, Frost, Frost. Scott Frost had a great time at UCF, went 17 and 0, claimed the national championship. <laughs> but yesterday, once again, dropped the ball in typical Nebraska under Scott Frost matter. How did he do it? How did he do it? He lost by three points to Northwestern. He lost by three points, three points. He is notorious for losing by one score. This year was supposed to be that year when he flipped it around. Now, I am concerned for Scott Frost because at this moment, I do believe that a firing might happen if this continues. Now, I'm not sure they're going to fire him after the first game, but maybe after this season, he won't be at Nebraska unless he could magically turn the season around and stop losing by three or seven points. That's tough. Let's move on. Let's do a quick pick stop, a quick pick stop at utah state utah state versus um yukon that was my upset of the week and um for the first half well first quarter um yukon was up 14 to 0 and i'm like whoa they finna make me some money whoa and then it all went downhill um utah state scored like 24 unanswered points and after then they, it went downhill they end up beating them by 11 so there go my whole parlay um yeah but Gervin Hall, a Miami Hurricane, once again has made the highlights for Miss Tackle. Will he be caught? He's Let's not dwell on that. Let's keep it moving, though. Let's keep it moving. Listen, I know you guys are like, T2, I get to it. We want to hear you talk about Florida State. Wait, there's more games, god dang it. So FAU um, beat Charlotte uh, 43 to like 13 or something like that. Nicole C. Perry, you know, former Miami Hurricane, handled business, my guy. Had a tremendous game. You know, shout out to Nicole C. Perry. But uh, let's take you guys deep into the SEC. I'm talking about way down at the bottom. Now, I'm not talking about landscape-wise because, you know, they're up in, um, in Tennessee. But Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt took a trip to Hawaii, to Hawaii, to lay the smack down on Hawaii candy. You know, hey, let me stop before The Rock come and, and, and put a whooping on me because, you know, he is Hawaiian and, you know, I'm talking about Vanderbilt beating Hawaii um, 63 to 10. God dang it. Dang. Vanderbilt starting to sound like an SEC, like a, a SEC school, don't they? What? Calm, calm, calm down, T2I. I, 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 go, go get you some coffee. I, I, I think it. <laughs> yes, they beat them 63 to 10. That was a late night game for us over here on the um, on the east side. You know, 10:30 um, game. So most of us didn't watch it. Most of us woke up this morning just like I did. Look at the score. I'm like, dang. Yeah, yeah, that happened. All right, let's talk about um, not Florida State yet. Calm down, man. Dang, I'm gonna get to it controversial story popped off um starting from friday actually you know with um florida a&m okay florida a&m fam you the rattlers 
Yes, they're supposed to take a trip to North Carolina to play the North Carolina Tar Heels. And a lot of NCAA violations. I'm talking about um, ineligible players. I think it was about 20. Game was almost didn't happen because they they almost didn't see, see it fit to play that game because it might not be safe. You know, only seven offensive linemen was available. So, hey, man, it is what it is. They made a shake. They took a trip up there and, of course, you know, got beat. Nobody expected them to win. But they did put up a little fight. It is what it is. Um, 56 to 24, you know. And yesterday. What you expect? All right, all right. So the moment you guys all been waiting for. Florida State versus Duque. The Dukies. Hey, you. Hey, you. You, 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 you. Yes, I'm talking to you. You Florida State fan. Calm down. Calm down. It was only a high school, okay? You beat a high school team. I'm not impressed by none of that shit y'all doing. Yes, Florida State beat Duquette yesterday, 47 to seven. Buster! Yes, they beat them, they beat them. Who didn't think they was gonna be? Well, probably me and the whole world because you know, we saw them lose the JSU and we thought this might have been a, a trend that they was gonna start setting. You know, Florida State like to set trends for all the wrong reasons. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. So we thought losing the SDS school was a trend. They were going to try to set it, and then they were going to try to make it look cool. But Norville said, nah, you know what? I'm going to come out here and play some situational football. I'm going to try to get ready for the LSU Tigers next week. Or, you know, they go, well, not even next week. Not, not the, the, September the 4th. September the 4th. They play um, LSU in Baton Rouge, I think. If I'm, uh, Maybe not Baton Rouge. If it ain't Baton Rouge, it's in LSU. It's it's in Louisiana, so it's a home game for LSU anyway. But Damn right. Brian Kelly came out last season, put a beating on Florida State. Well, not really a beating. They beat them by three. But you know what? Since Florida State said they beat Miami, they put a beating on Miami because they won by three. We're going to say last season, um, Notre Dame came to Tallahassee and put a beating on Florida State. They whooped them bad. <sighs> you see how dumb that sounds? But anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Florida State got a win, man. Um, Jordan Travis came out there. Didn't didn't do anything that um impressed me at all. I still think he a mid quarterback. Um running back running back on offense, um defensive end on defense. You know, you know, go ahead and make the, the switch, my guy, if you want to make it to the league. Hell no. You know, that's just my opinion. But um, yeah, man, they 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 dominated the game 26 to 0 at halftime. We knew Duquette. Wasn't gonna do nothing after that. So um, let's be real. Most of us tuned in. Most of us tuned in and then tuned out. This is what it is. Um, shout out to you, Florida State fans. You finally broke the losing thing or whatever. You know, last season you ended the season losing to Florida, and then um, you know, you've been sitting back, waiting and relaxing at practice, playing water gun, playing with water guns and water balloons. <laughs> And all of that racing Mike Norville at practice, you know, doing the doing the off season shenanigans that you normally do every season. We even seen a, a video of um, Mike Norville on Friday, you know, doing um I think he went to some church and he was doing the sermon, you know, he he was up there, woo, woo, he, pastor, pastor, go, get it, pastor, woo, pastor preaching that word today. Mike Norville was trying to motivational, try, giving a motivational speak speech. But you know who you remind me of doing doing um motivational speech? Jameis Winston. Go get go get them W. I wanna eat a W. You eat a W. I eat man. <laughs> man, Florida State beat Duke with um 47 to 7. Beat him by 40. I think the spread was 40. Florida State actually covered the spread! The spread was 40. They covered it. Oh, my God. Florida State going undefeated this season. They finna win a national championship. And they finna win, they finna win another ACC championship to stack on all the other old ones that they got. Oh, shit. Damn.